I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Equity, equality, and justice. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. And donate. Tax deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. That's a great mission. That's a great mission. And if youth and young adults are getting the, the, the gifts of Christ, we as old people get them too. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for Woke Wednesday, Erica Jacoby. She is the executive director of Higher Things, friend of Woody and Buzz. <laughs> Uh, former former public school teacher, Erica, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Happy Lent. Who you, happy Lent to you. And who you call an old, by the way? I'm old. You said old people. Old. I'm old. But but I got a question for you, though. All um, right. Shoot. Why are we talking about equity and equality? Why does it matter? And I'm going to disappear, so you just... Push against the wall and I'll disappear. You're going to decrease so I can increase? You got it. Go. All right. So uh, we're talking about this topic today uh, in because it's a, it's a woke topic, essentially, and it's Woke Wednesday. Um, there have been several um, orders that President Biden has um, signed recently uh, with with the um, intent behind them to work towards um, better equality. Um, and so I thought it might be helpful on Woke Wednesday to define some of these terms um, and kind of what they mean in current society today. And as always, you and I will do our work where we um, see kind of what the Christian worldview is on some of it. So that's why we're talking about it today. It's in the news. It's happening. All right. So could you define equity? And equality for sure. us in, in and, this and I'm going to throw, I'm even going to throw justice in there. Um, so um, particularly in, in education, uh, this is something you go through in teacher training quite a bit. And the first time I heard the difference between equity and equality sort of addressed was um, in dealing with special ed students, right? It's sort of the idea that, um, if you give all students the exact same thing, will they succeed, right? So like if I give a kid who has issues with reading some of the, the, the same materials I give to a kid who really um, excels at reading, um, am I doing that? Is that is that fair? Is that what the kid needs to succeed? So that's kind of um, the idea behind defining these terms. So um, inequality, which is what we're against, right, is unequal access to opportunities, right? So in a classroom setting, um, if I didn't give a special needs student the same opportunity to succeed, that would be unfair and that would be inequality, right? Um, equality is evenly distributed uh, distributed tools and assistance. Um, so that's that's kind of, uh, equality is, well, it's, a, it's kind of a good, term in theory or a good idea in theory, it's kind of the fair idea, giving everybody the same access, the same resources, the same tools. Um, but it doesn't, it, it, it's not enough. So that's where equity comes in. And equity is um, custom tools um, that identify and address inequality. So it's this idea, equity is the idea of looking at individuals and looking at individuals individual problems um, and, and really resourcing folks with what they need to succeed. So that's the difference between equity and equality. Okay. Um, and then justice is the idea between behind fixing the system to offer equal access to both tools and opportunities. So that's the idea behind justice. And so I think um, a lot of the debate that's going on right now about um, is how to fix what we think isn't just, 
if that makes sense, in the world, about our society, um, about access to resources and tools and that type of thing. So that's kind of the, the, the short course behind the difference between sort of equity and equality and our, and our push for justice. Hope that's helpful. That is very, very helpful. And so, so, um, so yeah, so, so then when it comes to, here's my question and here's why I'm bringing it up, right? We, um, people are really fired up right now about how to sort of fix things in our world, fix things in the secular world. And my question for you is thinking about equity, inequality, and justice, sort of what is the Christian's take on that? What is the Christian's worldview? What is, what is justice? What is fairness? What is equality? What is equity? How would we define that in our Christian worldview? And does it line up? We need to law and gospel this. Christianity is inherently unfair. What I mean by that is that one died for all so that all would live. It's like not very fair for Jesus. You know what I mean? It's like right. um, he does a Lent. He suffers and dies for our sins and the sins of the whole world, giving um, equal access to the Father. So there, there, um, uh, equity is not something that seems to be um, sort of fleshed out. He preaches. He preaches in all languages, in all tongues, and gives everyone equal access to the Father. No one gets... Um, the tree isn't bent toward anyone. Um, like that's the, the, the sort of cartoon where the tree is, you know, bent toward obviously certain right. individuals. Right. What you're well, referencing is, and we can have, we can have G4 maybe put this in the, in the link. Um, I'll make sure he has that, but, the, um, he's, he's, uh, describing on the internet, um, there's a visual kind of a meme that's used to just explain these ideas behind to explain equity and inequality. And so, um, what you're describing is a meme that sort of has a tree that's bent that has apples on it. Um, and we'll put that link in the description, but the, the idea is that, um, the, tr the, 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 it's not just the tree is bent. And so the folks who are standing on that side of the tree, um, have an advantage, right? To I just put it above your head. Can't oh, miss perfect. It. Okay. Hey, there you go. Thanks. Thanks yeah. for that. So you're welcome. Teamwork. Um, but uh, the, the, the problem with this is that in Christianity, everybody gives gets access to the Father. There's, I mean, the, the, the tree that is bent, it, it breaks on Jesus. So he gives equal access to the Father. Now, um, we should in the Christian church, and this is where I'm going to, differ from pretty much normally what I would, I mean, uh, everybody knows I'm pretty conservative. Um, uh, I would have to say is we, we sort of have to sort of pause and, and sympathize and not sympathize at the same time. What I mean by that is sympathize and say, okay, yeah, look, um, we need to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. This is Galatians 6. So we need to help our neighbor along. And if they, we can only go as fast as our neighbor can go because we're, 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 we're picking them up and we're carrying them along. And, and so um, equal opportunity may not mean equal opportunity. But on the flip side, we got to figure out also how to communicate. We need to bear our own burdens. That is, that is also in Galatians 6. So both stand in the Christian faith. One, I'm going to carry you when you fall. Two, though, I need you to walk. You know, you know, you follow me? It's like, you know, I'm gonna carry you when you fall, and I'll figure out a way for us to get to the place together. And for Christianity, the only thing that matters is faith in Christ Jesus. But on the other side, I'm gonna need you to carry your own burdens where where um if you if you're capable of walking, I'm gonna need you to walk. So um, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Uh, in, in, in this, like we have nothing to say about entrance into colleges and whether or not some folks should be given lower scores than other, you know what I mean? Allowed access mm -hmm. with a lower score than others. We have nothing to say on that in the church. What we're going to say is that Christ died for all and gave equal access, no matter where you live, no matter who you are, he gave equal access to the Father. All right. Um, maybe somebody 
born in a on an island, but there are missionaries that have gone out. He, it bothers God, so he sends people all over the world. Um, on the flip side, though, uh, no special treat, treatment. You're going to have to carry your own burden as best you can. Where you can't carry your burden, we'll carry it for you, and we'll carry you and your burden. But we got to we got to worry about that too. You know what I'm saying? You got the final thoughts. Um. Well, I guess I would um, I would just say that um, because Christ died for all and um, set us free, we are free to love and serve our neighbor. Uh, and that's what we should do in our vocation, uh, wherever wherever God God places you. Um, I do think a lot of Christians are, are, are frustrated right now. They're frustrated in the secular realm. And I think we can love and serve our neighbor by um voting for things that are just, um, and, um, um, as I said, loving and serving your neighbor, um, in a Christ-like way, um, they will know we are Christians by our love. Um, I don't, I don't have a lot more to say on that other than, um, I'm really glad that, um, the Christian faith is not fair (laughs) that, uh, that, uh, if it were Jesus wouldn't die for me, I would get what I deserve. Um, but instead he, he took my place. He took my punishment. Um, so, um, um, and I think that's the message the world needs to hear. What the world needs now. (laughs) No, 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 no. Um, is love, sweet love. (laughs) No, we're going to, and I think we probably need to come back and text. Uh, and, and I want your, I want your thoughts and comments in the comments. We will read them and we'll come back on this one in the future because, this is one that we're starting to get to the point where, where the Christian faith goes, I have nothing to say about that. Who's allowed into colleges and who's not got nothing to say in that. Um, how that, how the economy works itself out. We got nothing to say about, except what you said, the law of love. We're going to love our neighbor. We're going to grab, we're going to grab those that are falling behind. We're going to try to help them up, but we're not going to carry people who can walk. We need to all carry. And the fact that Christianity says both, while pointing us to Jesus, is something to ponder. Erica Jacoby is the face that runs the place in higher things. She is the executive director. Tell Woody and Buzz I said hello. Will do. It's about Jesus. His suffering and death for you. Not fair, but the gospel to all equal. Every ear, every tongue, confessing Christ, that alone, he alone saves. Give us your comments and your thoughts on this one. This is a tough one. We look forward to answering them in the order that they are received. (laughs) Have a blessed day, a happy Lent. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been our Higher Things video short.